there's so many cheesy things people say about surfing in the ocean. You know what I mean? Like there's so many cliche things that everybody says. And for me, it's just like, it's one of the last few things my body can still do. It makes me feel like I'm still me a little bit. I think it was just the, like my family, like they were super into camping and jeeping and like outdoor stuff and the beach is like right there. So we would always be at the beach and it's not like you sit around and like watch TV all day, you like go outside. I lived in Montana in the country. So we had horses and sledding and playing in the river and disappearing all day and coming home late at night. And then uh, in the summer, I would come here and I would stay here at my grandma's place. Like, I grew up surfing and it's relaxing. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just like, it's so peaceful and it's this other perspective. Pretty much any point in my life where I was sad or like something major happened, um, it was like almost about the only thing that I could do that felt like it took you enough away from everything else. Because I was in LA and I was far from the ocean. I couldn't surf every day because it was too fucking far to commute. And then it's when the biking took over a lot, like more, more than it did. I mean, because I grew up on the back of my dad's bike, but you know, you just kind of trade one for the other, I guess. I mean, if you could do both, that'd be fucking great. How did I start with art? How did I not start with art? I didn't think there was like a real choice. Like in kindergarten and first grade, I couldn't see the board. And then I was also dyslexic. So I used to just kind of sit and doodle and like draw. And it wasn't till like, like the end of first grade when they realized that I couldn't see the board. Like I would guess them, I didn't even know they were questions. Just circle, I would just circle C, 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 C. And like just like love to draw like weird little shapes and like circles like around everything. Like just literally I would just sit there and draw all day. And then I get to high school and I have an amazing art teacher and, and she has us do like a self-portrait series. So then like my drawings go from just being pretty and thinking about like tattoos and things that I think are cool looking to, oh, I might have something to say. Like art might actually be something like, yeah. So then I started selling my paintings in high school and then I went to junior college, but then, um, I actually like quit junior college three weeks later so I could travel for a couple years. It's probably, oh my God. If there was a relationship, I'd say travel was the other person. I've seen America cross country more than th three times at least through Canada, up through Alaska, through Mexico, through Central America, all the way through Guatemala, El Salvador, and Costa Rica, all through Japan, all through Europe. The whole time I traveled, I kept a sketchbook. And then, um, yeah, and then I decided to go back to school. So by the time I went back to school, I had some life experience and like piles of sketchbooks with ideas and things. And then I did start in fine art. And then I moved into illustration and design and I had a clothing company and I did a lot of illustrations. So like books and super into anything that was much like my sketchbooks, anything that was like drawing mixed with pencil and pen and watercolor and like cutting things like eyes out of magazines and collaging. But I had always wanted a tattoo. Tattooing was really like everything I painted or drew had tattoo imagery in it. Like I do a portrait, but then I would just draw like a ton of tattoos on top of them. So I feel like I was a little obsessed. And yeah, it wasn't until much later that I realized I had seen like other people do it that I didn't think deserved to be it. And I think that was the turning point for me. I was like, fuck that, those fucks, they're gonna fucking do it, fuck that shit. I'm gonna fucking do it. So then, it, yeah. And it was actually really good for me because it helped me really simplify my actual art because with tattooing, you have to simplify. You have to plan ahead. So it was, it was really good to kind of reel it in. I knew that I had to see how shops functioned and how it worked before I could go ahead and open my own. But once I opened my own, it was fucking amazing. It was like, the freedom, I mean, it was like great, like work for a week and then travel for like two, work for two weeks, travel for three, like, you know, I mean, it's just like, 
I would have my next month's rent paid easily before I even left for the trip. So if I had decided not to come back for two months, I technically didn't have to. It, it was fucking amazing because people would fly me. I mean, they'd fly me, pay for my trip, pay for my airfare. I wouldn't even have to like do anything. I'd just give them my name and they'd buy my airplane ticket for me. Fucking spoil the shit out of me when I was there. Take me out, like do whatever. And I just tattoo them like fucking some tattoo that would have only been like maybe 300 bucks. And I got a whole vacation out of it. If you work for yourself, art in general is like, you have a lot of freedom, but like, you know, obviously tattooing is the easiest of all those monies. Life was really good. It was pretty. And then? I, yeah, I mean, I got hit by a car. <laughs> I got hit by a drunk driver, so. Work was awesome. I tattooed my friends. Totally golden. Riding home, parked at a red light, and I hear this really weird noise. It's like that thing when they say it's slow, slow motion. That's actually real. And in the corner of my eyes, see like silver, and it's kind of eating the black of my bike. It's like crunching into me. Everything I've worked for gone. It's like you feel like you're. You died. <laughs> like, you literally f feel like you died. Like, when people say they miss you, you're like, fuck, I miss me. I didn't fucking recognize me. Like, I'm nothing that was me or made me is, is me. If you can't, I can't ride, I can't tattoo, I can't draw. Like, I can't even surf like I used to. Like, it's weird, like, accepting yourself with your new... You know, like anyone else with an injury, you're just like, okay, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You figure out what you can do, and then you go do it, I guess, right? And just try not to judge yourself, or, I don't know, um, t try not to think like that's all I was. Like, there's more to me. There has to be. Actually, I got rid of my shop. Well, it's like almost within the same week of the year before being told by doctors that it wasn't going really well. So um, that was like a year of hanging on. And it felt really good to let go, honestly. I've changed careers so many times. I've moved about a billion times. It's almost like like change is the consistent for me. Like, you know what I mean? I was thinking, I was like laying in the driveway the other day and I was thinking if if I had had to, if I had had to imagine what my life was gonna be like at 16, like you're laying there and you're like, okay, I'm gonna imagine what my life's gonna be like. I would have so fucked that shit up. If I had had to imagine what my life was gonna be at 16, there's no way. It would have been so boring. My 16-year-old brain couldn't even fathom, like, just in 24 years since that moment, what I've gotten to see, do, and accomplish. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, I've already tasted so much more than I like could have even imagined so it's like it would be stupid to presume like I even have a fucking clue of what the next 20 is gonna be because it's already fucking out there like, like, it, like it's like a it's like a dream or something fucking weird you know like a good dream <laughs> anyway yeah it's yeah so I'm not gonna fuck it up by trying to imagine what's next because if I do, I'm pretty sure I'll, like, aim way lower than life is actually going to produce for me. So I'm just going to, just going to let it do its thing. Like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> My heart is blue for you 